welcome back to my channel i want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to me and if you haven't please hit that subscribe button okay getting into the video but as you can tell from the title this is going to be a post grad life video i have been graduated from college for nine months <laughs> i graduated may 2021 and it is now february and it has been a journey i can say it has truly been a journey and i just want to share with you guys some things that i learned like what no one tells you and what life is going to be like so you can be fair okay number one it is okay to not go to grad school after you get your bachelor's degree every single person who came to my graduation who hit me up are you going back to school are you going back to school are you going back to school my mom are you going back to school no i am not i have no desire to go back to school and that is okay like do not make anyone make you feel bad for not wanting to go back to school like it is fine it's like i know people who go to school and become a doctor and become successful go to school become a lawyer be successful but i know people who did none of that and are making double and triple what i am making right now this is not the lifestyle i desire to live like do not care what everyone has to say like it's your life get your bachelor's degree do what you gotta do that's the only thing i can say like my main thing is no one in america has been in college through a freaking pandemic nobody knows what it's like to go through college except us except the people that's in college right now we are the only ones who know if you graduated 2019 you don't know you don't know what it's like you weren't there you you didn't have to go through it like that was crazy to be in college during the pandemic like life shattering changing okay number two post-grad depression i wouldn't say that i was necessarily depressed but when i first graduated i was still working at walmart and i was seeing people like i started applying to jobs like two months or three months before I actually graduated. And I was seeing everybody get their jobs and everyone like, I got hired here. People in my internship were like, my internship hired me, yay, yay, yay. And I was just like, ugh. Like, happy for them, don't get me wrong, so happy for everybody, but like, sucks for me. It's so hard to watch people succeed and do well and you just feel stuck. Like, that's how I feel, I just felt stuck. I was like, I'm stuck at Walmart, I'm gonna be here for 30 years nothing is wrong with walmart but i just didn't want to work there anymore and i feel like i made myself hate working there just because i wanted something different like i didn't even hate the job i didn't even have a problem with my job but just seeing everyone succeed and everyone go up and you just feel stuck like it just sucks number three friendships it is like so hard to like maintain like your friendships i mean we have a group chat we talk every single day like, you go from seeing these people every single day to only having like a phone interaction with them like it's so hard like and i don't make friends very well i don't have many friends down here in my hometown so like it really sucks i have family and stuff but it's like i just miss my friends like my people who i could just call on just run a dollar tree run to walmart like go grab something to eat come and let's watch flavor of love like that's so hard and like you gotta meet up like we had to meet up in charlotte and then it's like you gotta get a hotel you gotta take time off of work you gotta it's just a lot and like my school is like three hours four hours away rv lives like two hours away miari lives like four hours away it's just hard like keeping those friendships is really hard so whenever you leave college make sure you and your friends have like a set solid foundation make sure like these are your for lifers i know that those are friends for life figure out like how medea did in that scene where she's like Stop, but i want to who gonna have the baby we're gonna pick him up we're gonna have pampers when you gonna come and get the child support when his money gonna be there you better write it all down you have to be like that like you have to figure out when you guys are gonna meet like we're setting up another meet now it's like i love them so much and i miss them so much i just really wish that we're here so just make sure that your friendships are intentional make sure you guys know what you're going to do when you graduate if everyone is in different places if everyone is close by it works a lot better but if you have people living three and four hours away it gets hard and it really sucks like that's like my main thing coming out that like i hate the most okay thing i learned number four finding a job is hard like that 
I think everybody knows this, but I just want you to know, like, it is, it is hard, especially a job that you want. You're going to feel like, I graduated college, I got this degree. My degree is in rehabilitation services. My job is not necessarily in rehabilitation services. I have a remote job and I work like dealing with Medicare. So it's not really rehabilitation services. I went to school to become a physical therapist, but I learned quickly that I did not want to go to school for a million years. So I was like, not doing that. So, but back to finding a job, it is very hard. Like you're going to feel like, dang, I went to college these four years and I'm not even working on what we're doing. Like, I could have did this with my high school diploma. But there are jobs where, like, you need a bachelor's degree. It's like, it doesn't even matter the field. That's what my job is. I need a bachelor's degree. It didn't even really matter the field, but I had one. So, I don't feel like it's totally useless. <laughs> but, I mean, I know people, I saw a post on Facebook that was like, we did all that crying at your graduation for you to work at Family Dollar. And that's fine. If you got to work at Family Dollar for a couple of years until you find what you need, that's fine. Because these jobs want experience. They want experience that you don't have. How do you expect me to have experience and I'm fresh out the door? I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't know how they expect this experience to come. They're like, oh, you could have did internships, internships, internships. Baby, we got rent. We can't be doing all this free labor. We need something that's going to pay. Like, I don't get that. that. These jobs are like unreasonable. It doesn't make any sense. Please be prepared for this. Please do not think, oh, I got my degree. I got this, I'm gonna get a job. It's not that easy. When you finally do get a job that you like really want, it's the best feeling. Like when I got that job, I felt like a burden had just been lifted off my shoulders. But yeah, good luck to everyone graduating. I hope you find the job. I hope it works out for you all. I really, really do. Okay, number five. This is like a big struggle, number two. Moving back home it's okay to move back home and when you if you do have to move back home it is such an adjustment you have to go like you're gonna be like i lived home 18 years it's fine if i go back home save money on rent because that's what i'm doing like i don't want to rent because they want you to make three times higher than the rent how and then rent is just ridiculously high right now it's like no i'm about to just save i'm saving up for a house and I want to move out. I'm not about to pay these people $1,000 for no offense to any of y'all that's renting. This is me. This is my set. This is my pockets. And this is what I got or lack that I have. That's why I am not paying rent. I came home. Anyways, it is such an adjustment. You think because you stay home for 18 years that coming back home is going to be a breeze. It is not. You are used to that freedom. You are used to go wherever you go. The simple things will annoy you. Literally walking out the door and your mom or dad is like, where are you going? It is something so small, something so insignificant as where you going. And it just will blow your mind. It's like the little, like you're going to have to, I suggest everyone have a talk with their parents. Like just sit down. That's what I did. I told my mom, I was like, I'm coming back home. I said, well, we're going to talk. I said, I'm 22 now. I am not 18 in high school. I said, I know it's going to feel like I'm a little kid because I'm back staying home permanently, but I'm 22. So I would like a little bit more freedom, you know, in a black mom household. They don't care. If you under their roof, they rules, which is fine. I don't disrespect her in any way. But I feel like it's at the age where you just have a mature conversation with your parents and talk to them. Like, this is what I, this is what I, like, you just got to talk to them, communicate, because this is going to be hard. But going from that complete freedom like doing whatever you want to do, have whoever you want to have over your house, not having to worry about all that weird stuff that parents worry about. Like, just my mom gets mad at me when I leave the bathroom closet door open. So mad. I mean, she gets like to another level. And it's like, that's unnecessary. She doesn't like for me to wash my clothes during a certain time of the day because she can hear the washing machine. Like, it's little crazy stuff that you are not going to think about that you think are not going to bother you. But it's gonna bother you but it's just like it's okay you just go back home save that when you think about the 900 to a thousand dollars that you are saving on rent just think about that every time your mom gets on your nerves your little brother your little sister your cousin your daddy your auntie your granny anytime they get on your nerves just think i'm not spending 900 dollars in rent and you'll get through it okay and my last thing i need to share 
this is like the most important rule. This is what you need to take. Like, this is what you need to take. As soon as you graduate, as soon as you turn, turn that tassel, this is what you need to do. Do not compare yourself to everybody else. I don't care if y'all had every single class together at the same university and stayed in the same dorm and had the same outfit. Do not compare yourself to that person. What they are going through is not the same what you are going through. If they get their job in two months and it take you two years to get that job, that's okay. That's you. That's your journey. Everything's happened for a reason. My problem was I was comparing myself to everybody else. I would hear like, she got the job and he got the job and they got this and they got that and that's not your journey. Do not compare yourself. You are where you are for a reason. Like, it is for a reason. Like, just stay where you at, stay in your lane, and keep grinding. If you want a job, keep grinding until you get that job. Go get on a nurse. Call them every day. Let them know. Ask them what do you have to do for them to consider you for this job. Figure out what you have to do. If you want to get an apartment, like, and they're like, you got to make this amount of money. Like, do what you got to do to make that amount of money. Do what you got to do. If you want to move to freaking Texas, because... Like, do what you got to do so you can move to Texas. Like, if you see so-and-so move to New York and you see so-and-so move to Alaska, like, they can do it. You can do it, too. Like, do not compare yourself. And if you feel like they're doing more than what you're doing, don't feel like that. Everybody's on their own journey. It's your own pace. Like, just think about college. I had class with people who were 18, 19, and I was 22. And then I had class with people that were, like, 30 and 40. It's your own pace. It's your own journey. Like, do not compare yourself to others. That's what I did. I started comparing myself to everybody else. Like, but if you do compare yourself, let it like push you. For mo let it motivate you. Don't compare yourself and be all woe is me. Don't do that. Let it motivate you to do better. Don't compare yourself and then get down about your journey and get down about where you're at. Do not do that. If you're going to compare yourself, I recommend not doing it all. But it's hard. I will admit, admit. I will admit because I did it. But if you do compare yourself, compare yourself to motivate yourself be like if they doing it i could do it that's what you need to do and those are my tips on life after graduation so once you graduate college do not get down and if you have everything set for you then you're good but like this is my realistic journey this is what happened with me and like this is what it is this is where i'm at but i hope five years from now i'll be doing what i really truly want to do so just let that motivate you guys don't give up get that degree and if you don't want to get that degree do what you gotta do just get to the bag that's the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you can know whenever i post new videos and i appreciate you all for subscribing thank you bye